I got this pipe threader from Amazon so that I can make some custom steel pipe curtain rods for our back patio. I've never used one of these before, so let's check it out and figure out how to use it. Looks like there's different sizes on here. This says half inch, so this is the one we'll be using because we're using half inch pipe. So it looks like you can just take these out here and put in the size that you're using. Yeah, so this looks like the one we'll be using here. All right, let's get this video started. But first, let's all hit the like and subscribe button. I'm waiting. All right, good job. Now let's thread some pipe. So the pipe wrench that comes with it, you unscrew it. This is the pipe threader here. And it comes in pieces like this. And then you just screw it together. get it screwed together really good and the black side that goes this way and then you got an arrow here this is the direction that it will be turning you're gonna be going righty tighty lefty loosey it may look backwards here but if we're going this way we're going clockwise that's gonna be righty tighty that's the area we want to thread I'm gonna wear some gloves here because this can get pretty messy from the oil. And then there's also gonna be a lot of little metal shards from the pipe threader. So this is the pipe threader here. We're gonna run the pipe all the way up here to the end of those threads, to the end of the blade. There's all those little blades in there. And so we're gonna go this direction with it. And you can get it started by hand You want to get it gripped on there pretty good. And then you can put your pipe oil in there. You want to do this over a garbage can because it can be a little bit messy or over a shop towel or something to absorb it so you don't get it all over the floor. And you still want to keep your hand on it for the first few turns because it can come loose and then you're just spinning around and not doing anything. It might take a little bit of force to get this going, but you'll feel it once it grips, then you'll know you're good. You feel it's starting to really be hard to turn, so now we know we're we're gripped pretty good. I'm using a, an old vise here that's not very good, so I'm using a pipe wrench to help it, to help keep everything uh, going here. And it's kind of a little bit precarious. If you can get yourself a nice uh, pipe vise, it'll be a lot easier. But if not, you can use a couple of pipe wrenches to help keep everything stable. You can also hold it with the pipe wrench if you need to. That works too. So as what happened here is I had this down in here, but then when I lift it up on the pipe, it pushed it out of that place. So we'll see if we can hold this in here. There we go. No, nope, it came loose. You can do it this way, but it's a little precarious. This can come loose and pop up and fly and hit you in the head. And so that's kind of dangerous. But if you hold it, you should be okay. But if you let go to do something else and you crank on this, this thing could just fly up and uh, bust a knuckle or bust your head. But we got the pipe wrenches gripping down but it loosens back up when you let off. And so if, you, if, you, if this moves a little bit and then this comes loose and it's not fully tight and then you twist it, there can be a lot of pressure that builds up real quick and this thing will just go spinning around and cause a lot of trouble. So 
So I got about five more threads to go. Should stop and put a little bit of oil on it. Vice needs to be tightened around. This is just my little uh, makeshift vice stand that I made. I need to do a little more work on it. When it gets really hard to turn like that, you got to put some more oil in there. We're getting close. We're about three threads away. And if you have a lot of trouble, you can back off it and go the other direction to clean up some of the metal in there. But sometimes just putting that oil in there will help it start spinning again. You can see all this metal in there. It's everything that's cutting off. My garbage can isn't perfect. It went off the other direction there. All right, I can see I'm about two threads away. Almost there, but it's really tight. I'm gonna put a little more oil in. Almost there. That last little bit's the toughest. All right, we made it. So once you get it down here, you can see the pipes made it all the way through the threads. Or maybe you can't see. But once the pipe is even there with the end, then you know you're done. Now we can reverse this to this direction. And then we'll lose our pipe wrench. pipe wrench back in there but we're going the other direction now so I had to reverse the pipe wrench to this direction so that it would grip when it starts spinning and then that stops this from uh, spinning the pipe you see here I got to hold it not a lot of pressure so I can let go now because this is really starting to come loose once it starts to get like that you can just do this by hand dump a lot of that out but it seems like it's stuck in there a lot of those little threads are just kind of stuck in there so kind of use a screwdriver or something to clean that out and then you want a metal brush here I don't have one so I'm just using this this is an old brush that you use to clean your battery cables off with but it's a metal brush so it works you can clean the burrs out of the thread there but that's something I want to get is a metal brush and a pipe vise so that I can do some more of these but you can do it this way this is just a lot tougher this is a really small little brush so it takes a little more work and it's not as thorough you should probably be wearing safety glasses when you do this so you don't uh, fly any little metal burrs into your face into your eyes so that looks pretty good and we can run this back in here to make sure it's all nice and clean if that runs smooth then your pipe will run smooth if this goes on nice and easy like that then your fittings will go on nice and easy on your pipe and just clean it up with a little bit of oil clean up the oil with a little bit of a paper towel. 
clean up a little bit of oil with the paper towel. Take your pipe wrench off of there. So yeah, you need a vise and a pipe wrench. If you don't have any of that, you're, and you're gonna buy something, you're better off just buying a pipe vise. And then you're gonna need a metal brush. But if you have one of these old uh, brushes that you use to clean your battery cables off, that'll work too. All right, so that's how you thread a pipe. The final test is just to take a fitting on here and just screw it in and make sure it works. If you have any burrs in there, it won't screw on and you'll have to clean those out. You wanna make sure you're not cross threading it. If you do, you can get out your uh, pipe threader again and clean it up. But it looks like it's working. It's just a little bit of a tight fit, but it's on. There you go. Now we'll go hang up this curtain rod. In the meantime, you can watch this video right here.